Bitcoin has just formed a swing failure pattern of our medium term time frame range high. This for many is a very bearish signal, a short trade setup and expectation of lower prices to come. In this video, I'm going to be telling you why I am not shorting this swing failure pattern, why I'm expecting these shorts to be stopped out and new highs to be made. This is very almost controversial because I love to trade swing failure patterns. So I'm going to be giving you so much insights and knowledge of why I am not shorting this and why I have higher targets still to come. It's going to be a good one. Of course, everybody that's been following my analysis over the past few days, you will be in this long trade setup with me. As in the last YouTube video, of course, we were waiting for a drop to our range low reclaim to give us the long entry trigger. We got that long entry trigger and we've actually blasted up to $28,000. So you're going to be very happy if you've followed along on that call with me. And, uh, you know, I'm going to be explaining why I'm still looking for higher. I'm actually going to run this video, though, uh, reviewing the price action from the lows down here, bringing us up to current price action. Why? I'm going to educate you and give you some even bigger insights that I've not yet told about this price action. And then you are understanding the context fully of what is going on here, why I am not shorting this swing failure pattern and why I'm expecting higher prices to be made. So let's get straight into it. I don't want to waste any time here. So we all know when we have formed that original wick to the downside, okay, we then started to form this sideways price action. Okay. During this sideways price action, I remained bearish with lower price targets. One level below us was the NPOC, which as you all know, eventually got hit. So this was giving a potential intraday setup target. Okay. We had our lower price targets and we were looking for a drop. NPOC was one level that we had for an intraday setup potential. As you all know, we slightly front run that NPOC. Then we were given the setup of a swing failure pattern to hit the NPOC. Remain patient and patience paid off as we formed the swing failure pattern onto the NPOC. And for me, confirming to my team, that is what we were looking for. And that is now the long trade taken down there at around $24,800, $24,900 getting into that long. And you'll know subsequently after that, I remained very bullish, very locally, um, you know, <laughs> making it clear that I was in the long trade, that I'm looking for higher prices, right? We were releasing YouTube videos, you know, long on Bitcoin, expecting higher prices to come now in the group was not shorting, was not shorting was looking for prices above us. And what happened then was, of course, well, we got higher prices, right? We made our way up. This is where we formed this slight intraday triangle, as you'll know, which gave a short trade entry uh, and brought us down and brought us down. And this is where I could say, um, you know, I'm not perfect. <laughs> you know, I do five good trades in a row and then I make uh, a mistake, just as anybody in trading it is a game of probabilities. Uh, at this point, on the 25th of September, I was looking for the weekly slightly below us. So I did not long the very low here because I still had, um, you know, a target below us. I want to remind you, my short was from the triangle breakdown here at around $27,000. Here at around 26, I was looking for lower still uh, to hit the weekly level, which I had as a target. Of course, though, as I will always say, I got to trade the charts and information started to change, uh, which made me a few days later realize, okay, now I do not think we're going to hit that weekly anymore. And that was when we started to form these higher highs and higher lows. So I've got a market structure change. As you'll know, I found this fractal, which gave us probabilities then also for a move to the upside. And we were forming consolidation under resistance of our range point of control. OK, so obviously then my last few videos have all been, uh, you know, Bitcoin <laughs> to over twenty nine thousand dollars in October. Then then I gave you the long trade setup, which I know many have followed in on. And then my last video from yesterday was also saying uh, Bitcoin, you know, I'm remaining long, remaining looking for higher. Um, so, you know, although I did not long the very low because I was looking for the weekly, I did change my bias while we were still down there at around 20, you know, 26, three, 400, as we started to form the fractal and consolidation targets, we obviously made our way up through the range point of control, come up to the high of the fractal, which I confirmed to my team. There's no short trades to be had. We're still looking for higher. Okay. And that brought us obviously too higher after that fractal, where we formed this sideways range where I gave you all the long trade setup, where we needed to rate wait for the fake out of the range low to around 27, 800, 20, 20, 26,700. Well, we formed that fake out, 
we got the reclaim and that was the valid long trade setup activated upon the reclaim. Okay, after that, we formed our sideways range still. And this is where I left off yesterday's video, where I was reminding you all that I am still looking for higher. I'm still bullish and, you know, confirming to my team, you know, not in any short trades at this point, looking for higher. And well, then this was actually, uh, this is Japanese time in Japan. So this was actually around 10.53 yesterday, uh, UK time. So while we were still trading within this range, Okay, posted to my team one final time, you know, still no short trades here, only longs, want to see higher on Bitcoin, and you'll know what happened next. We saw this really large pump as the CME opened at 11 p.m. UK time. Uh, so you can see my last few posts here, still in those short trades, want to see higher. Then we obviously pumped through a daily and an NPOC that we had, formed that swing failure pattern, and I've confirmed to my team I'm not shorting this rise. Um, you know, I'm, I'm looking for another target, which I'll explain to you now. So that is the run through of the original low that was made that I longed. We made it up. We made it back down. This was my incorrect call of looking for lower here. Okay. But then I managed to adjust my bias and switch back to bullish as I saw the market structure change and order flow changes. I then took my long here at around $26,800. And here we are at around $28,000 now and I remain looking for higher. So this is the thing that I want to really explain in detail is this swing failure pattern, because I know everybody knows me that follows. I love to trade swing failure patterns. I think they're the easiest trade in the world. So what are a lot of people going to be doing now? They're going to be shorting. They're going to have their stop loss simply above that wick. And, you know, they, they could be targeting, for example, down to the weekly. They could be targeting, you know, they could have any any old target right now, right? But the, in, the most important thing is they've got a valid entry trigger and stop loss. Could I say this is a bad trade? Well, not, not really, because it is a valid entry trigger. You have a stop loss. You have an invalidation. It's just like anybody in trading. You're not going to win every single trade you take. It is a valid trade setup. And the reason I'm not taking this, then, even though I understand why many would, is because I do believe we're going to make a new high. So when we actually look at the order flow, and, and again, order flow for me is like the number just a very important factor and i've got nothing bearish here that signifies to me that this was the sfb that's going to bring us down so what i'm actually looking for is very similar to the previous long trade setup that i gave you remember i was looking for a low before a rise and then i will show you this i will add on that channel very quickly just to uh, show you exactly what we had going on okay so that channel that we had okay we had our range high we had our range low okay so this was our last channel that we were trading and we were looking to take it up to the range high and see if we form a swing failure pattern here or a bearish reaction. As you can see, you just went flying straight through it, even on the one minute chart. There was no bearish reaction. There was no short trade. So I love to trade the reactions because I can be aware of a short trade of the range high. If I don't get it, boom, I just keep in my longs and look for higher. Just like when we were looking for the long down here, if we had just continue to go down and we got no reclaim then there you know there would have been no long trade to be had right but we get the reclaim we get the reaction we activate the long trade setup so for me i'm looking to a very similar setup right now so if i look in on current price action i'm going to add on some important levels for myself but what i'm actually looking at is now another local range so we have our range low and then what we have very importantly is the new range, or I would be referring to as the, the, the range high. So this swing forward pattern, again, many are going to be shorting here, stop loss, simply above this wick, because that's the invalidation as of, of an SFP. So I'm actually going to be looking for this, another take of this high. Okay, so I'm actually going to be thinking to myself, I want to see this high taken. All of those shorts that are opening now stopped out. And from there, I can make my next informed decision, right? So do we make our way up to this high and form another swing failure pattern? And then we SFP the SFP. And that could be the short trade entry, right, for lower prices to come. If we get that swing failure pattern or failed auction. Again, if we do something like this, where we just blast straight through, then I simply would withhold that short and look for my next levels above us. As you all know, 29,400, 30,400, very, very, very key levels for me. So um, it's always a level to level game. And what I do is when my levels hit, I look at the order flow and I make an informed decision. So like back here where I was not shorting based off of, you know, data that was given to me in the time, 
not shorting. You know, I'm looking at things such as entry triggers, order flow, reactions, uh, market structure. This is what all comes together for me to make me think, um, is this a short, is this not a short? So back here, for example, where there was bearish CVD, you know, I'm telling my team I'm not going to short here. I'm not going to place the hedge. You know, I think people are going to get stopped out. And it's the same for me now. I've not got the bearish order flow. I've not got the bearish reaction. Although there technically is a swing failure pattern and a bearish reaction, this for me is not strong enough. And this is where trading can be fairly complex uh, and why you want to trade with a with a trader with a good, good win rate, right? So again, lots of people can identify SFPs. It's not really that hard. A lot of people can mark out an NPOC. A lot of people can mark out a daily. Um, but, you know, why you listen to my analysis is because, you know, I've been doing this <laughs> over 10 years. I have the experience and I have the win rates behind me. You know, you can see for yourself with my content, with my analysis, it's not often that I'm getting it wrong. OK, maybe once, uh, you know, every few weeks I'm making an incorrect call and, you know, I will hold my hands up and say, hey, I, I did make an incorrect decision there. Uh, you know, it's part of trading. It's It's also good for you all to see when I make an incorrect decision. So when I didn't long that, uh, correct down here looking for the weekly you know i held my hands up and said hey that was an incorrect decision now we have seen new data i'm looking for higher so i'm not winning every single trade i'm not always taking the best trades but you know on, on average you know i think my results can speak for themselves and if you followed along um you know <laughs> yeah i'm generally getting it right okay so i've got a very high win rate so that's why you would, you know, listen to my analysis. Again, you can always make your own informed decisions, right? Just follow along with my content. Um, and so for me, you know, if you want to listen to my insights, if you want to listen to why, you know, you're here for that. And I am expecting higher. I think everybody shorting here is going to get stopped out. So I am not shorting here. Again, I've given my team this information. I am not shorting here. I am looking for higher. We can then check the reaction here. If I get a bearish reaction, then I will take a short trade or this high if i do not get that then i will simply look for my level to levels above us uh for higher prices right so for me that's how i trade this is how i've always traded this is how i make profits this is then how i teach people how to make profits right so um you know this was an interesting comment that i had yesterday uh the true goat of trading uh so many youtubers more than likely signed up to your champions group literally everybody Everything you show on the charts happens. None of this, none of that, just spot on analysis. So I think that's something that I've made a very big change towards recently. I've been clear, I'm long, I'm looking for higher, or I'm short, I'm looking for lower. It's not, oh, I'm in a long, I'm in a short, let's see what happens. You know, I've been very, you know, made a very conscious decision to be very clear with my analysis. So it's like this before the, before the pump, I want to say, remind you, this was before this pump to the upside, before this really big move. I'm telling to my clear team clearly, still no short trades here. I'm in no short trades locally. No short trades locally. Only longs want to see higher on Bitcoin. You know, there's no, there's no way you can be confused about that. OK, and then, of course, one hour later, you see a big pump to the upside. But I'm making very conscious decisions to be clear, um, very easy to understand and, and simple. OK, I truly do want to help you. And, and my my response to this was, you know, I work hard every single day on the charts and trading. You know, some people love me. The vast majority do. Uh, others hate me. Uh, but nobody that has an opinion can deny that the vast majority of their trading knowledge came from the chart champions group. And so for this, I am proud and I will always hold my head up high and be happy with a smile on my face. So, yeah, although there are, you know, some haters, some salty people, you know, you're never going to see me reacting or, or, or really caring about what they're saying, because I know we help so many people. Um, you know, the majority of my haters are, are from other groups that, you know, have an, a, an agenda against me. Right. They have a reason for doing it. And, you know, I'm, I'm not bothered. I'm never going to comment on it. I'm not going to bring myself down to anybody else's level. I'm just going to do what I do best. And that is what I do every day. And that is come in here, do analysis, take my trades, share my opinions, share my charts, and ultimately share profits. Again, anybody that followed along with that call that I gave very simply is in profits with me right now. So that's what we're here for. That's what I'm about. That's what I do. That's what Chart Champions was formed that's what Chart Champions helps with. It helps you understand the charts and helps you understand how to make 
profits and you know trade successfully so you know lee a good example here brother these days um he has made his own trading style that he built up with his statistics over the years works very well indeed um you know that's the level that i want to get people to they come in as a student i teach them i get them up to a level they can trade on their own this for me is what chart champions is about that's why it was formed and you know i'm, I'm honestly very happy <laughs> to see that so um yeah any final things that i want to mention in terms of the analysis um you know then obviously if i'm looking for higher we can be looking for the uh long on a pullback we actually have a lot of confluence now around 27500 with the uh, monthly view apps all coming in around here so we do get a pullback um you know i'll be looking to long that up to above this high uh any final words of course if you are interested um with the new uh, trading deals that we have i'll leave them in the comments and the description down below of course you have the option of the um paleo id if you want a kyc uh this this works for kyc then you obviously have the femex option and you have the um bing x option again this is all going to be left over on our website under the deals so if you want to take advantage of some of those deals you can get it via the website for everybody else of course we got the whole course for the educational library we've got the um live trading so people that want to see live trading dedicated altcoin streams trade recaps round tables champions live streams uh market structure you know everything that you need to become successful in trading we've got it for you we are the complete package daily live streams live trading education the biggest and oldest cryptocurrency educational group in the whole of cryptocurrency you know we've we've standed the test of time and uh we're not going anywhere so um you know if you want to be the best you know where to be chart champions that's how i'm going to end with i will preface this you know it's currently 4 a.m in the uk right now so this video is probably going to be uploaded in around i don't know maybe six hours so there will be a slight delay on this youtube video just because if i release this at 4 a.m it, it it performs very badly so i'm going to wait to around probably 10 a.m uk time and i'll release this so I'm hoping that we haven't seen this large move again that I'm looking for to take this side so you can take advantage of it. If it has happened, hey, this is, uh, you know, the thing if you wait for YouTube videos, uh, if you want the information live and the time before anybody else, then, you know, you're going to get that from the Champions membership. Well, you'll know that I'm not short and you'll know that I'm looking for higher and you already have the information rather than needing to, you know, wait a few hours uh, for the YouTube update. So if you want it up to date, the newest trades before anybody else, chartchampions.com. Thank you ever so much. Hope you've enjoyed. And yeah, I'll see you over inside of the group. Cheers, everybody. Thank you. That's me signing out. Hope you've enjoyed and goodbye.